What's up YouTube, Saf here on Super Saf TV, and in this video I'm going to be doing a camera comparison of the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus to the Samsung Galaxy S5. Now we'll be looking at both the front facing camera as well as the rear facing cameras, and at images as well as video too. Do also look out for the audio icon at the corner of the screen, and I'll be switching between these two to show you which device the audio is coming from, and you can get a better idea of the differences in audio too. Now this is going to be a little bit complicated because we've got three devices but the Samsung Galaxy S5 will always stay on this side of the screen and then I will switch between the 6 and the 6 Plus on this side of the screen. So do hit that thumbs up button and let's get straight to this camera comparison. Right so now we're outdoors doing a wide angle shot with the Samsung Galaxy S5 and the iPhone 6. So this is the 6 not the 6 Plus, we'll switch to the 6 Plus in a second. We're filming at 1080p from both devices and this is the sort of quality difference that you can expect. Now let's switch to the 6 Plus. So now we've switched to the 6 Plus and we're still filming with the Samsung Galaxy S5 and this is the sort of quality difference that you can expect. So this is still at 1080p, we'll test out 4K in a short while. So just looking at the autofocus without touching the screen, so just going from one area to another. And this is what you can expect. And this is the sort of quality difference. Now the uh, Samsung Galaxy S5 does film in 4K and it will put that against the iPhone 6 Plus in just a moment. All right, so now we're filming at 4K from the Samsung Galaxy S5 and at 1080p from the iPhone 6 Plus. And this is the sort of quality difference that you can expect. You don't have video stabilization at 4K on the Samsung Galaxy S5. So that's just something to bear in mind. But this does give you the option to crop in if needed too. So now we're indoors with the iPhone 6 and we've got relatively low light. Just want to see the autofocus. So if we move from one place to another, I am not touching the screen right now. I'm just leaving it completely to the autofocus of the camera. And this is what the speed is like. It's struggling a little bit here, but it seems to be doing a good job overall. Now we're in exactly the same lighting with the Samsung Galaxy S5. And this is the sort of quality difference that we can expect. Once again, I'm not touching the screen at all. I'm just leaving it to the camera to do the autofocus. And it also seems to be doing a pretty good job. So now this is just side by side. So you can see exactly what the difference is on video in a relatively low light. And this is with the Samsung Galaxy S5 and the iPhone 6. We'll switch to the iPhone 6 Plus now. Now we are on the iPhone 6 Plus and the Samsung Galaxy S5. So we've got the exact same lighting and we're just testing how these look side by side when we have relatively low light. It does seem to be brighter on the Samsung Galaxy S5 from what I'm seeing on the screen but do drop me a comment below and let me know which one you think is brighter in low light when it comes to video. So that was the video now let's have a look at some images now we're going to do this in the usual style whereas I'm not going to reveal which device the image is from. I'm going to let you decide which image you like better and then I'm going to do a reveal. This way you've got no bias in terms of which is your preferred brand or whatever. This way you'll be looking at just the quality of the image. So we're going to start off with the front facing camera. So here are some selfies. We know how popular selfies are these days. Now on the right hand side you've got much more sharper detail here. The left hand side does seem a little bit uh, soft and it's a bit too soft for me personally. And the colors as well, I mean, too washed out on the left hand side. I'm definitely not that color, but it's definitely a little bit more warmer on the right hand side. But I don't mind that. I think the colors are a little bit too off on the left hand side. Now to do the reveal, you've got the Samsung Galaxy S5 on the left hand side and the iPhone 6 on the right hand side. So I would give the edge here to the iPhone 6, even though it's got a smaller resolution, you've got more sharper detail and the colors are a little bit better as well. Now I'm personally not too impressed with the Samsung Galaxy S5's front facing camera. I think they've actually taken a step back. The Samsung Galaxy S4 actually had a better front facing camera in my opinion. And I'm not sure why they've done this. I mean, it's really, really soft. As you can see my beard, uh, the details on my beard are so much better on the iPhone 6 compared to the Samsung Galaxy S5. The Samsung Galaxy S5 does have a wider angle lens, however. So if you do want to have group selfies, then that might be a bit appealing. Now the iPhone 6 Plus is exactly the same. The front facing camera is practically the same as you can see here and there's no difference there. Now moving on to an outdoor shot in good light. So you can see here we've got some flowers, both great images here, lots of detail. The right hand side image is a little bit more vibrant whereas the left hand side image 
is a little bit more natural, I would say. And to do the reveal, you've got the Samsung Galaxy S5 on the right-hand side and the iPhone 6 on the left-hand side. Now, one thing to bear in mind is that the Samsung Galaxy S5 does have a 16 megapixel rear facing camera compared to the 8 megapixel rear facing camera of the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus. So when we do go in 100%, you can see that we can crop in much, much further on the Samsung Galaxy S5. So you do have the advantage of a lot more detail on the Samsung Galaxy S5 compared to the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus. Now, here's another shot that we've got of some flowers. Once again, I think both are doing a great job, lots of detail. I love the depth of field here as well. Both are doing great. The right-hand side image is a little bit more vibrant. And the left-hand side image is a bit more natural, so I think this is giving it away. You've got the Samsung Galaxy S5 on the right-hand side, and you've got the iPhone 6 Plus on the left-hand side. So I do think the iPhone 6 and the 6 Plus are performing pretty much neck and neck. I mean, if you do look at my video of the iPhone 6 versus the iPhone 6 Plus cameras, you'll notice that they are both very, very similar. Now, moving on to an outdoor wide shot. So this is a wide angle shot on here. I think you've got a little bit more detail on the left hand side. The colors are also a bit more vibrant. I think I've just given it away there. The iPhone 6 is on the right hand side and the Samsung Galaxy S5 on the left hand side. I think both are still doing a good job. I think there's just a difference of colors which will come down to personal preference. If you look at the 6 Plus, it's practically the same. I mean, it looks like it's almost been taken on the same phone. There's not much difference whatsoever. Now moving on to an indoor shot in relatively low light. I think both are doing a good job here. You've got slightly cooler colors on the left-hand side and slightly warmer colors on the right-hand side. You've got the Samsung Galaxy S5 on the left-hand side and the iPhone 6 on the right-hand side. Now, this is something interesting. I wanted to see if the 6 Plus did any better, but it does pretty much the same as the iPhone 6 here. So even in low light, the optical image stabilization isn't really benefiting, to be honest. It is still uh, looking pretty much the same. Now, moving on to a image with very, very low light. And I think you've got more contrast on the right-hand side. On the left-hand side, it's uh, looking a little bit brighter, but you've not got as much contrast on here. This, again, is going to come down to personal preference. The right-hand side is the Samsung Galaxy S5. On the left-hand side, you've got the iPhone 6. Now, going on to the iPhone 6 Plus, once again, it's practically the same. There's not much difference between that and the iPhone 6. And now, finally, looking at a rear-facing camera image with the flash. Now, I'd like the right-hand side image a little bit better. I think it's slightly less washed out compared to the left-hand side image, which has washed it out a little bit. Now, that is the iPhone 6, which has a dual LED flash. I was expecting it to be a little bit better, but uh, I would personally give the edge here to the Samsung Galaxy S5. So there we have it, the camera comparison between the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus versus the Samsung Galaxy S5. I think overall, they are great cameras, all of them offering some great results. Front-facing camera, I would give the edge to the iPhone 6. As I mentioned, I'm not too impressed with the Samsung Galaxy S5 front-facing camera overall. It's a bit too soft. I'm not sure why they've done this. I think they've done this so your skin looks a little bit smoother, but I don't personally like it. And I would give the edge to the iPhone 6, even though it's got a low resolution. Now, rear-facing camera, I think they are all great. All of them produce some great results. It's going to come down to personal preference. The Samsung Galaxy S5 is a little bit more vibrant. They do that to make the colors pop a little bit more. Whereas the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus have a little bit more natural colors. This is going to come down to personal preference. The Samsung Galaxy S5 does get a slight edge here for the resolution, which is 16 megapixels versus 8 megapixels on the 6 and the 6 Plus. So you are going to have the option of cropping in further on the Samsung Galaxy S5. You've also got 4K on the Samsung Galaxy S5, which is an advantage if you are going to be using it. So you can crop into your footage later on. In terms of the audio, once again, you've got stereo audio on the Samsung Galaxy S5 versus mono audio on the iPhone 6 and the iPhone 6 Plus. This usually makes the Samsung Galaxy S5 sound a little louder compared to the iPhone 6 and the 6 Plus. So that's why you notice a bit of a difference on there. Now, in terms of the autofocus, I think all did really, really well. All of them use phase detection autofocus so as you saw in the video they were very very quick to focus on and they were pretty much neck and neck now in terms of low light I think images were quite similar but in terms of the video I do think the Samsung Galaxy S5 was a little bit better in terms of the low light in video that's what I think anyway what do you think do drop me a comment below and let me know your thoughts if you want to see more images from lots of different devices then do go ahead and give me a follow on Instagram too I post lots of images on there on a regular basis from many different devices that I review. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, then please do hit that thumbs up button for me. It really does help me out. I mean, these camera comparisons take a lot of time and a lot of thought behind them. So definitely a thumbs up would be appreciated. 
And why not subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this one. I've got the iPhone 6 and the 6 Plus in hand, so we'll be having plenty more video coverage with them. Thanks for watching. This is Saf on Super Saf TV. I'll see you next time. If you want to see more regular videos like this one, then be sure to hit the subscribe button, which will be below. If you're on a mobile device, it may be somewhere else. If you want to see my previous related video, then hit the link right here. If you want to stay in touch over Facebook, Twitter, and Google+, then all of the addresses will be there somewhere, as well as direct links in the description below. Okay, if you're still watching, then that means you've not done one of those things, so... Anyway, um, I'm just I'm just gonna go um, downstairs. See. Okay. Um, th there isn't really a downstairs. Anyway. So yeah.